Salutations, my dear friends, and welcome to the WASD channel. If you're new to this year's channel, do yourself a favor and smash that subscribe button as you'll be helping us grow and you won't be missing out on our spectacular video lineup. If you like our video too, you'll be telling that nasty YouTube algorithm you like our work and then he'll do the rest. Now, I know we're pretty much riding the hype train with these Windows 11 tutorials and coverage, but who cares? It's informative and fun, at least in our heads, so we'll be expanding and bringing you all the sweet information you can absorb. Being the lazy bones that I am, I initially installed Windows Next on a virtual machine in our previous video. This time, however, I'll be installing Windows 11 on a desktop configuration, and we are currently making a gaming benchmark on Windows 11, so get ready for a party here on the WASD channel. I am probably echoing for your head now as I've said this a million times already. This version of Windows was leaked by some wisecrack, and if you're willing to indulge yourself in an unstable system installation, do this at your own risk. I also recommend an SSD, and another warning, logging into your main Microsoft account is a big no-no. The first step to hell, downloading the illegal leaked version of Windows 11. Two, choose between two evils. Route A, scour the web for the ISO, and Route B, download the ISO from the link in the description. YouTube doesn't like direct links very much, so the text file contains everything you will need. We are stern supporters of piracy here at WASD, as we are aware that a lot of you do not have the gold to afford most of the software that comes out. The second step to hell, don't use Microsoft's official booting software, but go for a third-party option as it's the best way. Rufus rocks and it's the superior to Microsoft's wonky program. Now, insert your USB and make sure that it has more than 8 gigs of storage. Faster is better as they say, but it's okay to waste some time while monkeying around with the new software. Once you start up Rufus, it's as easy as shooting fish in a barrel. Just click here and then you'll be able to browse for the ISO. It can be real fun naming your USB 2 if you're me, but hey, uh, no time for fiddling, let's get to the next step. As soon as the line becomes green, you're good to go. Now, open this video on your phone and restart your device. Now comes the big turnoff for most software enthusiasts who installed Windows on their own before. Things should go smoothly now that you're done with Rufus. And here comes the error message. Your freaking PC is not compatible with Windows 11. But don't worry friends, there are actually two solutions to this conundrum. Number one, boot that baby to your old OS and change up some files in the source folder on the flash. Your second option is to mess around with your BIOS. Now, there are two things you need to change here. First, you should enable TPM 2.0 and Security Boot. Depending on how complicated the damned BIOS is, you should be able to find it if you try hard enough. It's usually located in the Security tab. Now, some newer motherboards like our ASUS ROG Crosshair 8 Hero are blessed with a search function, and this instantly ended the suffering for us. Once you're done tinkering with these two suckers, the error should be gone and you can proceed with the installation. I know we're just making the video longer by doing this and wasting time for a bunch of you, but for those uninitiated, we'll be posting the entire procedure. If you already had a close encounter with the Windows installation, you can skip to the last section. Choose your language. You can go with Chinese or something similar if you want a real challenge. In our case, we went with the default one. Hit the Install Now button and then politely tell Bill Gates you're gonna pirate the hell out of his OS. A big window pops up and there is a buttload of options you can choose from. My go-to choice is Windows 11 Pro, but we will cover other variations in an upcoming clip depending on how well this one does. The big Microsoft is always watching, so you will have to allow monitoring in the next step, so accept them in terms of service and click on Custom Install. It's gonna ask you where you want to install it. Format the partition by clicking New and simply click Next. In the prehistoric days from which I hail, I remember waiting for an hour to install a version of Windows 98. Zoomer technology has truly come far and these new thingies called SSDs get the job done in a matter of minutes. I'll fast forward so you don't even have to click the skip button. And behold, there's a new loading screen and wow, there's also a new boot up sound. From here, it's pretty straightforward. Region selection is first, and I suggest that you leave this on default as it is simply the best Windows experience if you have a basic understanding of the language, plus most tutorials you will come across are in English. For now, you should skip adding a new keyboard layout as you can do that at any point. Tick the Setup for Personal Use option and click Next. 
we won't be signing into a Microsoft account, so please bear with me. Click on the sign in options and choose offline account with limited experience. Enter your username and you can leave the password field blank if you don't want to go for the hassle every time you boot up your machine. Now, we don't want Microsoft spying on us, right? Well, they will be doing so anyway, but we want to untick all the privacy sliders. No, Bill gates son, please, don't take my soul. After you're done here, the brand new Windows environment should lie in front of you and you can finally collect the fruits of your sweet labor. What's left is for you to activate Windows. Now, you can always go for the boring procedure and use your Windows 10 key, but if you're adventurous and like piracy, you can find an activator in the description. It runs through the command prompt. I can't really show you how this stinker works and you know it. I'm sure you'll be able to find your way through the good program. That's that. We're back in black and back on track, and tomorrow we are preparing some numbers and benchmarks. Smash the like button, show us some love by giving a subscribe, and tell us your thoughts down below. Now, be good and stay safe. Peace out.